Welcome to Masculine Scrapping. It's been a while since I've been on. I've had a lot of things happening in my life and at work, but hope to get this uh, spread done. This is actually my son's paintball tournament that he did last year, November of 2022. And it's the last page. There were so many pictures, I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. And so I decided actually just to make it look like some of their equipment covered in stickers and everything. So it's gonna be a super busy one, but it then does allow people to stop and then focus in and look at certain pictures. So a lot of stickers that, that I picked up at the uh, tournament. These are some raffle tickets that we picked up for buying some items. I'm just gonna slide that one over here. And as you can see, I'm just gonna put all these pictures uh, right on there and basically cover the entire mat or the background page uh, with these with these photos old cut photo here just using that to smear it uh, spread it down I just want to get fingerprints on the pictures so again you can see my son over and over in some of these pictures uh, with various famous people and I'll be honest I don't know who they all are but he does and that's what's important some famous paintball players some famous designers I guess so just getting these all in place he had a really good time at this tournament and so I want to make sure that we create a great page for him to remember all of this by this might be stretching over a little bit and I'm just gonna leave it for now a tiny little piece there uh, if it doesn't fit into the plastic page protector I will slice a real thin piece off the edge uh, at the end but there we go Now with stickers, you have to be super careful because the stickers, once they're on, they're on and there's no getting rid of them. I'm gonna stick this down here. You can see the same design on there. Oops, I'm gonna put it the other way around so you can see it. Hormesis, Horm Horm Hormesis. We didn't win any prizes, but we did have a really great time. All right, so before I put these back down, put them there. I don't want to get people's heads stuck. So now I have to, this is always the fun part of stickers, is getting them to come apart. There we go. Again, remember once they're down, they're down, especially if you're putting them on top of a photograph. It's not gonna be easy to get it off. This is the weeding tool for the Cricut machine. And I have found a lot of times that it, it will help me get the stickers started. Stickers don't have that place where they crack in the back anymore. Now here's a guy, sorry guy, I don't know who he is, but I'm gonna get this sticker right over the top of him. And then that way it doesn't look like there's a random person in the picture. So yeah, so that one's done. And we'll start working on this one. Now this one's gonna be a little different because um, you can see I don't have enough photographs to, to kind of fill the whole thing here. And I'm, that's part of the wristband from the event. So I'm just going to do part of it and then use stickers to fill, uh, fill the rest. There we go. Gonna move this up a bit. Just using, getting the first one on well and then using that as a guide for the others often works really well uh, for putting photos on like this. Again, it looks like it's going over a little bit on the edge here. I'm just going to leave that unless I can't get it in the plastic page protector. And then use a straight line cutter to cut the edge if I have to. So all the photos are on. Now we'll get the stickers on. I've, I've already decided 
I'm not going to put the stickers fully on. Uh, some of it will go off the page. And so, um, got to decide how I'm going to put them on here. So I think I'm going to put this big one on first. And again, no split in the thing. So I've got to I find a point to kind of pull it apart here. There we go. I think it goes this way. I have no idea. I'll get in trouble later for it. I'm not going to press down too hard on the edge here because I don't want it sticking to my background map. Okay. A lot of these stickers potentially look like they were homemade with the kind of backing they have on them. I don't know. There we go. Again, this page is going to look a little busy, but if you look at some of their paintball equipment and stuff, it's all covered in stickers as well. And I kind of wanted it to just look like that. And most of these are stickers that they would have ended up putting on some piece of equipment anyway. So, again, I think if you watch my channel much, you know that I like um, the ephemera and collecting the pieces of ephemera. And so, definitely you're going to see that uh, on this page. Okay, you can see I've gone over the edge there uh, with those. Um, I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut that off before we go too much farther because I don't want it sticking uh, to... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to fold this over. That actually might work just as well. Instead of cutting it and making it sticky, just folding it over. Okay, and there we go. You can see there the photo has gone over a little bit, but actually, yes, I like the way that that turned out by just folding them over instead of cutting it because it could stick on the other side. And then I want to put this on. Uh, I'm just going to put it across the top, and I think I'm, I'm going to just tape it to the back. And that might be the simplest way to do this. Sometimes when you try and glue these things, they do, they do not look good. So I'm just going to use regular cellophane tape and do a cross like that. Same thing on this side. I may have to redo this later if it won't fit in the plastic page protector if, the, if that photo is too long. But I think that's going to work. Okay, so there we go. Paintball Tournament, Orlando, Florida. Pictures of my son and famous people who I don't know who they are, but maybe you do. So, hope you enjoyed watching this one. Uh, kind of fun to put together. Not a lot of special creative technique, but it does showcase a lot of photos uh, in, one, in one place in a format that I think fits the occasion. So, thanks for watching. Would love to see your projects. Have a great day.